on the plate and make them earn everything they get. Big arm to begin with ball one on that class of 2018. But Hennessy works a walk on five pitches to start the ball game. State in the midst of a wonderful season, and it's back-to-back -back walks from Perkins. Sit dead red and have just. It's the breaking ball at Perkins fans, Matthews. Luke Brown, fourth-year junior center fielder who drops a bunt toward third. Bare hand play for Noah Ravens, not going to get the speedster. And a bunt single on the first pitch for Luke Brown. Situations and when guys should be taking off. Well, they pick off Brown here. Of 900 for him. And he has smashed the ball as he lifts one into center. That's the Asheville, but it is a sturdy RPI as Perkins issues his third walk. With bunts and get things moving. Well, Jack Gallagher rips one into right. Taylor was on the move, so easily advances to third. And the first hit for USC. The Marlins, and they would run this play. It's a bunt to first. Benellis flips it home, and Peyton applies the tag. And they cut down Taylor. Benellis is fired up. Perkins 2-2. It's a fastball bounce to second. And Bowman ends the inning. 3-2. Inside, and Davis works a walk. 1-1, hit hard in the air to center, sending Hennessy back, and he's not going to get there. Bounces up and over for a ground rule double, and that's the only thing slowing down Henry Davis. He almost took out an umpire. Was cut down, just trying to do too much. Oh, well, Usher's doing his job here, and he's almost beaten it out. They get him at first, the run scores, Davis eventually comes across the plate and to be able to say yes we are good enough to be able to play against everybody Payne is going to get out of this with just the one run as Peyton flies out to Hennessy 10th pitch of the plate appearance is ball four pulled left side and through and fair for Buckner it ramps into the corner and Rip will score all the way from first to tie the game. Buckner's fired up, and it's a 1-1 ball game. 3-1, and Matthews works a walk. 3-1 is a fastball, and it's chopped towards second. Bowman goes to first, the run scores, and USC Upstate takes the lead. Buckner comes in, and Taylor does his job. 2-2. Is called strike three. Good breaking ball from Jack Perkins. For uh, beat Duke two out of three, sandwiched in there. But that's definitely hurt him. And wow, what a punt. Christian Napchik plants that thing just to the right of the white. That is laced into center. Brown scorched it to tie the game, and he's thinking two. And sliding in with a run scoring double. But the stolen base where it's going to go for you, where you put yourself in scoring position and you give Brown a chance to be able to score you, and he's off and running. But how about Brown? As soon as he hit it, there's no hesitation rounding first base, knowing, smelling that double, knowing that he wants to get there to give Cooper Bowman. Bowman pulls this one into left center. Back toward the wall and gone! A two-run shot for Cooper Bowman and Louisville leads. Now that is how you have yourself an A-B. My goodness, down in the zone, down in the zone, battling, fouling pitches off. You finally get a fastball middle in, and you do not miss it. He crushes this ball to left center field. Heck of an A.B. Just outstanding. On the 10th pitch. He's taking those early woes and turned them into big things. Scorch past the shift, past the second baseman, McIntosh. And Benellis blasts a single of this bottom of the third. 
And he strikes out Don. Not want to start falling behind. And walking, guys. Five pitch. So two away, man at third, and Julian Rip rolls one off the end of the bat. Christian Napchik's throw is not in time. It's a one-run game as Gallagher scores. Where they, they're kind of standing there with the bat, and then they bring it back, and it's a fluidity. But you can see Rip getting down the line, definitely beats it out. Boy, can he move. Here's Devin Buckner who doubled his last time and he rips it into right. Rip goes first to third. Buckner's got another knock. And there's two on for the Spartans in the fourth. Corbett over to first and they picked him off. Corbett gets Buckner to end the inning. First time. Chops it left side and pass Rabin down the line toward the corner. And a one out first pitch double for Jack Payton. Away. And it's hit away by Brown. Got it past Rabin. Payton scores and Louisville adds on. That's just an outstanding AB by Luke Brown. Whenever a lefty's out there and that hip is opening up, but this time he does not open up that hip. Stays closed and rips it to left field. Great job hitting. That's a professional at bat. Understand. And the one two. And Bowman rolls it to short. Matthews is very good defensively. And the inning is over. Buckner. Rips a single for his third hit in his last three trips. A one-out knock here in the seventh. Ever since he showed up. <laughs> this is scorched off of Corbett. It kicks towards short. No out to be made, and hopefully Corbett's all right. Another one-two. And Magaha bounces it gently toward third, and Dunn taps the bag, inning over. Seven starts with Christian Napchik. Slicing one the other way for a knock. Magaha gets to it quickly, so it's merely a leadoff single with Louisville up a pair. A one. This is stung by Luke Brown. He's got a four-hit day for the second consecutive game, and he's going to score Napchik all the way from first. Luke Brown is red hot, and Louisville leads by three. In the ball game, 102 miles an hour off the bat, hits it to right center. Kristen Napchek is running the whole way, never slowing down. But my goodness, Luke Brown, put the team on your back, my man. That is just out. 2-0, and Bowman is pushing a bunt up along first, and he's got a knock out of it. Another bunt single for the Cards. Base is loaded for him. He got the fastball, and Matthews makes the play for one, and the throw gets two. Oh, what a play by Matthews, and Gallagher on the back end of it. Brown in through the back door, but man. Oh, man. A ball that was just a bullet, 115 off the bat. Matthews is able to stay with it. And now Davis launches one to center, but Hennessy has room, and the inning is over. 2-1. This is blasted by Gallagher. Goodbye. It's a three-run ball game as Gallagher goes deep to left with his fourth home run of the season. And that's what you do. You pick up your shortstop after he makes a nice play and get a pick. And then you come up your next A.B. And you launch one out to left field. Slice to left. Leonard inning over. Bat. I mean, that's five outs on balls Ooh. blasted over 100. And speaking of balls blasted, Lucas Dunn goes deep. And that got out in a hurry.
Home run number five for Dunn. I, I'm just going to let this just happen because that that's an elevated fast pawn. Oh, man. he This bot ball went out in a hurry. Elevated fastball, and he got all of it. He knew it, too. The little bat flip. Yep, here you go. Take my bat. My goodness. There's been a lot of hard hit. RBI infield single, and now the 1-2 is rolled to short. Napchik cannot get there, and Rip is on to start the ninth. Left on starting on Thursday. I don't know. Buckner skies this one to left, to the wall, it's gone! It's a two-run ball game in the ninth. This, this USC Upstate team is not going away without a fight. This is a fastball elevated. Yes, the wind is blowing to left, and I do not care. 355-foot home run. To the winning run up to bat. To second. Bowman ends the ball game, and Kirian with his first save of the season. Locks up a Louisville win. 8-6 the final.